friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away an air bubble is injected beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule if you apply the dye beneath an air bubble the dye is not diluted by aqueous and staining becomes very fast the dye is washed out with BSS and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber this is a very good very much affordable viscoelastic substance that we use in India. Anti-capsule has been incised and a capsular tag has been raised. Now I hold this tag with the uterata forceps, go anticlockwise, remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated people. Try to do a large rexis because the cataract is about grade 4 quite hard and in hard cataracts never do small rexis you will have lot of problems in managing the nucleus then can be can be stress on genual there can be blowout rupture of the posterior capsule lot of things can happen if the rexis is small. Visco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The machine being used is Faro's from Ortley, Switzerland. And now I am in FECO 2 mode from the very beginning and this technique I am going to employ I call it submarine chop bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus go through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and use the chopper after crossing the central part of the nucleus and now few more chops The tip is always buried into the substance and then high vacuum is used to hold the nucleus and then the chopper is used. The chopper that is being used has been modified from a Sinsky hook, just a little stouter and thicker than a Sinsky hook and it has been designed by me and I am very much comfortable with this small chopper now we are towards the end of the management of the nucleus this is the last nuclear fragment at this time I am going to remove the nucleus only and keep the epinuclear shell till the end to protect the posterior capsule and now at the end I reduce the vacuum and if I am in speed mode I can control the vacuum by foot switch and it is done nucleus and epinucleus has been removed.
some more visco and now since I have made only one side port I'm going to use this Simco cannula for managing the for cleaning the cortex most of the cortex is removed the sub incisional cortex is being removed going through the side port this is a 23 gauze Simco cannula and the size of the side port is not very big it is about 1.5 or 1.6 millimeter and now this is hydro implantation hydro implantation means the antechamber is kept formed by irrigating fluid and the intraocular lens is implanted and just by a push of the irrigating proof the lens goes into the capsular bag the lens is tiled by the irrigating proof and at this time whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge also comes out and now the side port is to be closed this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now corneal stroma on either side of the side port is hydrated and the side port gets closed and now a final lavage of the anterior chamber with uh, with BSS and see as I irrigate as I direct a gentle stream of fluid towards the corneal endothelium a lot of visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out and after this final lavage the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with lot of love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.